Welcome to the Ting Startup Guide for the Kia Sera Milano. In this episode, we'll open the box and take stock of what's inside. We'll delve into the tech specs to see what makes the Milano tick. We'll take a hardware tour of the Kia Sera Milano, and we'll charge the battery for the first time. In the box for the Kia Sera Milano, the first thing we see is the phone itself. Next, we find the product manual. Below that, we'll find the travel charger, the battery, and a micro SD to SD card adapter. Let's take a look at what makes the Milano tick. First off, we can see the 3-inch touchscreen sitting front and center. An 800 megahertz processor runs the show along with 512 megabytes of RAM. The Milano runs Android 2.3.4 Gingerbread out of the box. There's 512 megabytes of internal storage, which can be boosted up to 32 gigabytes with an add-on micro SD card. The phone has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 2.1 on board, as well as GPS for navigation and location services. It's capable of acting as a wireless hotspot for up to five other Wi-Fi enabled devices. Let's take a look at the phone. As you can plainly see, the Milano is a pretty compact handset. Below the three inch screen, we find dedicated hardware buttons for home, menu, back, and search. Above the screen, we see a light sensor to the left, the earpiece in the center, and an LED indicator lamp that will let us know when the phone is charging. Turning the phone into landscape mode and pushing the screen portion up, we find the Milano's four-line QWERTY keyboard. While it is small, the buttons are nicely raised and it's quite comfortable to type on. On the back of the Milano, we see the three megapixel camera, which we can use to shoot still images or video. At the bottom, we see the external speaker for playing media or having speakerphone calls. Remove the battery back by finding the notch on the bottom of the phone, inserting a fingernail, and pulling up. Before inserting the battery, you can see the micro SD card carrier sitting near the bottom of the phone. To remove the micro SD card, push the carrier down in the direction indicated by the unlocked icon. The carrier will raise slightly. Pull the carrier up, then the card can be easily pulled out. To install a micro SD card, slide the card into the carrier. Be sure to catch the rails on the left and right hand side. Push the carrier back down, then press all the way in and slide the carrier up to lock it in place. Now we can insert the battery. Line up the contacts on the battery with the contacts in the phone. Push in and down to insert the battery. It'll only go in one way. If you need to remove the battery later, peel the pull tab up and lift. Snap the battery back cover into place. On the top of the phone, we find the ever handy power button and sitting in the center, the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Over on the right, we find the dedicated camera button. We'll take a closer look at the camera and this dedicated button in a subsequent episode. On the left hand side of the phone, we see the volume rocker. This is context sensitive and will change its function according to the application you're using. Below the volume rocker, we find a door that hides the micro B USB port. To access the port, slide the screen portion of the Milano up and then flip the plastic cover out. With the travel charger plugged into an electrical outlet, insert the small end into the micro B USB port on the Milano to begin charging. On the front of the phone, you'll see the indicator lamp come on and turn red to indicate that we're charging. Be sure to watch the other episodes in this Ting Startup Guide for the Kia Sera Milano smartphone. We'll look at setting up accounts, using the built-in apps in the camera, connecting Wi-Fi and Bluetooth accessories, and much more. Enjoy your new phone!